Oh yeah, welcome back to the channel. I'm Junkman5000 and this here is the one and only Scrabzilla. That's Lily. And you're watching Man vs. Metal. Now hit the music. And she gave me the old one-two Scottish Magoo juke move. Probably make more sense to take it off tonight, but you know me. I don't like making sense sometimes. Oh, got my pants. Got me right by my pantalones. Back. Welcome to everybody's favorite scrapping game. Is it stinky or is it not? Good solid life rule. Don't take sharp metal to the chest. So what do we got here? We got a dumpster just chilling on the side of the road here. Kind of thing. Should we throw it at it? Damn. Say goodbye to your millions and millions and millions of fans. Welcome back, happy Wednesday night. Anybody want a dog? That dog of mine just completely messed me up. I went in the backyard to say goodbye to her and she got all playful, like she wanted to play. So I started playing with her and I didn't realize that the gate had opened and she gave me the old one, two Scottish Magoo juke move and boom down the road she went so then i had to chase her i caught her though because i'm quicker than her okay this is our little house from last week last week and there was some stuff in there and now there's some more stuff goodness how am i supposed to i don't know how i'm not supposed to take this picture I mean, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. How am I not supposed to take it? That's wood. It's wood. We don't want wood. All right. Well, how am I not supposed to take that? Look at it. It's beautiful. It's blue. We like blue things. Blue is actually my favorite color. Used to be my favorite color. I'm not against it still being my favorite color. Just rambling at this point. Woohoo! Let's go. Shot down one of the back roads real quick and look at what we found. Team lift! Team lift! Dun dun dun! Dun dun dun! Alright, little kitty stroller bicycle thing. I don't know about any of this. These all look like little baby toys. I usually veer away from those. Yeah, we're going to pass. We're going to pass on that, but... Oh, we got that thing. Uh, yeah, that's really about it so far. All right, we are in the next neighborhood already. This is our last neighborhood of the night. It's been kind of slow at night. Nights have been a little bit slower here lately. But we didn't go out at all last week, and we did all right. So I'm sure... We're going to add a little bit more and we'll be fine in the morning. Right across the road. I'm over there talking to you guys. About, oh, it's slow. Oh. And then, well, guess what? Just open up your eyes and you'll be less slow. Uh, is that all right? Sounds reasonable. Right of the grills. We are grilling. All right, this one ain't too bad. Did something to my wrist today. Then I thought it was just one. Both of them are kind of acting up. I don't know. Because we lift so much big stuff around here, me and you. Okay, we are back. Oh my goodness. Uh, this thing works. Not really sure what my guy's gonna say I mean it works but he may still be like yeah I don't know <laughs> I don't know maybe all right so I'm gonna find a place to put it up in there that little grills all over the place so we are gonna need a 
strap for sure. I'm not gonna keep you guys with me for that. So we will see you in a little bit. It's picking up, picking up, buttercup. This neighborhood has not been bad for us. We got that stove. Oh, my guy's taking the stove. So that's already all taken care of. We'll take that off uh, tonight or in the morning. Probably make more sense to take it off tonight, but you know me, I don't like making sense sometimes. <clears throat> um, so yeah, stove's coming off, so there's 30 bucks. Tomorrow, oh, it's a big day. It's a, today is tomorrow. That's amazing. Um, well, it's this episode. It's a bike episode, everybody. We're gonna be bringing in some bikes to our man Rusty. So that should be fun. That's tomorrow. And we're bringing in um, all of these units. We're gonna take Scrapzilla. So, yeah. We're gonna put up some big numbers scrapping, hopefully. 2,000 here. Get another thousand at least in bikes. Another thousand and in, in uh, whatever you know, whatever we're talking about. A little stroller, nice little uh, double deal there. Double deal, real in the feel. I think I seen some kind of Disney thing on there too. I see that. Yeah, a little Disney, a little Disney action. Hmm. There's a little signs that people have been here. They're still doing really good tonight. There's just little signs. You know what? Clothes? We're donating them. We'll donate some clothes. Boom. Clothes donated. Purse. Little plastic thing. Oh, a Christmas tree. Oh, hi, how are you? Okay, Hope you don't mind, we're just grabbing some of the metal. No, no. Oh. <laughs> Is that okay? Is this going to like the veterans? Do you want me to well, save that? They want a Christmas tree. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Furniture and clothing. They take kind of whatever. Right, yeah. Big furniture. Right, right, right. Oh, yeah, okay. that's fine. All right, I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, that's fine. Especially with veterans. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a great night. Have you been down there? Yeah, but this stuff was up in the yard. I usually don't go in people's yard if it's up there. You know, if it's well, on it's the... been there for a week. Really? I think they're moving out. I usually, I take a walk. Right, right, right. Yeah. What I'll do is I'll leave my card for them. Just because I don't want to, I, yeah, yeah I, I it's, feel you. yeah, I feel you. yeah. But it's been out and I'm surprised that this is a kind of Yeah, 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 area, so. right, yeah, absolutely. So I, I only live right in Chiliota, I'm in here oh, all the time. Okay. Yeah, so. But yeah, with being an HOA, they're right. kind of strict on things. Absolutely. So, and this has been out since Saturday, so we're, and people's been picking through it. Oh, really, right, right. right. On, but, okay. So, but I had other clothes I wanted to make sure and pass to the vets. Yeah, awesome. So. Thank you so much for doing that. Oh, you're welcome. It's very yeah, good. For them. Yeah. Have a great night. All right. So that's what we're taking. We're leaving everything else. And actually, since they're going there, we're not taking clothes from the vets. They can stay right there too. Ban out, bam, ban out, wow, way. I don't know, I was thinking about this thing. I was thinking maybe I should ask Lauren. Well, the front ain't on there. Yeah, see, none of the fronts are on. Okay. Yeah, I just asked Lauren and she said no. Because that's what Lauren does. She tells me no. She's like, enough, Michael, enough. And I can't disagree with her. You know, a lot of the times it's chaos. Pure chaos. Oh, all right. Team lift a little bit. Here. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, it's got my pants. Got me right by my pantalones. All right, hold. Flip it right in there. We are in the final 
throw the final testament of this neighborhood so we're just kind of throwing stuff in right now and this is a really nice one too oh, oh don't you do that lauren usually likes these and the girls they like to put their makeup in it and stuff i like to put my face in a cart that's right that's right so that's probably coming off too a lot of stuff seems like it's coming off not really maybe just in my head Good morning. Happy um today. Thursday. We'll start Thursday off with a big team lift. I like that. We like the way that's starting. Let's go. Let's keep it going. Keep it flowing. Back. Welcome to everybody's favorite scrapping game. Is it stinky or is it not? Yep. It's got a little stinky stank to her. Just a little bit. Oh yeah, there's some juice in there too. Don't think we'll be hitting up our guy on this one. We'll just take this little hot box right into the trash. Alright, I'm gonna get this thing up here and get it strapped down and we'll have you with us when we go to me getting out of here is gonna be a joke as well. This is a street that I try not to come down. And I just seen a trash truck come out of our neighborhood that we're going into. So that in itself is rather, rather concerning. Cause they do switch up their routes like every, I don't know, three, four months, something like that. And I really have no idea how I'm gonna get out of here. Maybe we'll back it up. But even that isn't a good answer. End of the road is, uh, not a highway, but major pass through. All right, see you in a few. The long awaited return of voiceover radio. Quick edition. Look at, try to get it up. I ah, can't do it. Ready? Big kick. Ah, oh, it took us down. Big leg kick. Let's go. Use your weight. Pull that thing up. Big team lift. Huh. All right, here's the next part. We gotta yoke this thing. Ah, don't let it go, don't let it go. Don't you do that. Pull, pull, gym workout, big like Arnold. Oh, there's a close up on my butt. There you go, we'll leave it at that. Have a great day. So Ooh. It's a little stinky, it's a little stinky. We, uh. Oh boy, bounce, 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 bounce. That thing is gonna have to move. The pre core. <laughs> team lift, team lift, team is lifting. The kegerator. Alright, that's gonna have to move. Did I mention that? I think I mentioned that. Goodness. These things look like, uh. I don't know what they look like. They don't look good though, I'll tell you that. Not something you wanna like take in the chest or anything. You know what I mean? Well, you probably don't wanna take metal in the chest, period. Period, it's just a good, good solid life rule. Don't take sharp metal to the chest. Check. I'm trying to think if I've done that. I'm sure I have. I'm sure I've gotten stabbed by it, poked. You can have the bushes. I'll take the sharp metal projectiles. Ah, oh, oh, it's got me. I know what some of you are saying. I thought we were moving that thing over. Yep, me too, me too. Maybe we'll just throw this right on top, but then it leaves a big gap there. Gap band. All right, that's gonna stay. You win. Metal wins on that one. Be with your rooted friends. 
Hey, all kind of issues we got going on. Flat tires. Um, that works. Good rusty bike. All right, so garbage men are in the neighborhood, at least in the back half of the neighborhood, which we are done with now. So uh, we're back on good ground, hopefully. Here we go, team left. Right up and over. Rover. Oh, that hurt my wrist a little bit. Um, so yeah, hopefully we're back on nice fertile grounds. All right, so a guy just flashed us down. We are going to pick up a washer and dryer. Um, I don't know how today's gonna work out. We got a lot to do this afternoon and it's gonna rain. So that's not fun, it's not fun. All right, I'm gonna grab this washer and dryer and we will see you guys in a little bit. Welcome back. We are we are back here at the house. My guy is gonna take this one. So that's two so far. Bada bing and bada boom. Uh, we're gonna put this in the back. Just uh, trying to coordinate things now. Uh, that lift sold. The guy is coming to pick it up today. Um, yeah. So then my owner called me this morning. For, for the lift and he's like I don't know Does this guy know what he's doing so I had to call him the guy who's gonna buy the lift back and say hey man you sure you know what you're doing he's like yes absolutely I'm like my homeowner don't want no liabilities ah oh, he's I'll sign paperwork whatever you want so the deal is back on um, so yeah yeah uh, the guy's showing up are pretty confident in what they're gonna do so called my owner back told him that he feels better the guy pulling it down feels good everybody feels good should be a beautiful thing and we get paid stacks baby Ooh, those are some nice four by four posts you know how i like my four by four posts i don't know ladies and gentlemen I think we would have filled Mighty Mouse, um, but we're we're running a couple more neighborhoods. Hopefully, we'll we'll put a little bit more in this bad nugget. We're already doing outstanding on the week, so let's go. Neighborhood heating up a little bit. Got a little heat on the fire there. Got a little heat on the fire. You do what you will with that quote. You do what you will with it. I'm just gonna leave it for you. To really soak it in, you know? Soak in what is Mike speak. Phone has not stopped today. Not stopped. What do we got here? We got a dumpster just chilling on the side of the road here, kind of thing. Any metal in there? Hey, you got any schmetal metal in there? People are probably gonna come out like, what are you doing in my dumpster? Um nothing looking around seeing what's in here type of thing you know ooh there's some rope who doesn't need some rope in their life alright I'm going to leave these people's dumpster alone we're going to grab the bike and I'm pretty sure all the garbage guys switch routes not switch routes but they change up oh this is going in the yard this thing yeah um they switch routes every so often like every three or four months because even my trash guys came super early today and that is not normal team left boom shaka laka boom 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 it's windy it's getting windy cindy news about all this is that this neighborhood is usually beat up by the time we get here garbage men usually came but today not so much good and the bad bad and the good take it all together put it on wood and just so everybody's clear i have no idea what that whole last little wrap i did means I don't know what you're gonna put on wood or anything like that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't even try to wrap, you know? Or rhyme. There's just no need for it sometimes. Anyway, 
Look at us go. Too far. Look at me. Look at me. Oh. Oh, maybe I didn't. Maybe. We'll just put the back down on this. Like so. I gotta fix that little pin too. And then we'll just roll this thing. Right on up. Oh, 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 oh. Water heat is like, I got you, I got you, I got you. What is this, like a 50? <sighs> Trying to, yeah, 50 gallon low boy. 50 gallons. <clears throat> For under them stairs in a two-story house you know the fun one under the stairs in the back of the cabinet not in the cabinet but in the back of the closet it's all ridiculously hard to get to you know the one let's smash this thing real quick let's do some smashing and bashing Should we throw it at it? Bam! All right. See that? All you guys have to do is suggest something. And I'll, just, I'll just do it. See ya. All right. We got some metal. Uh, there's another scrapper in the neighborhood. I think it's the old man. I think. Um, but that's okay. I seen him pulling in here. So he went in the first entrance and I said, all right, well, I'll go in the second entrance. So I gave up a little bit of the front half of the neighborhood to get into the back half of the neighborhood. And this is what we got. Come on, baby. So, you know what they say, a little bit of something, better than a whole lot of nothing. We would definitely take it and be happy. Let's go. We, we kind of walked into one here, I think. I said, I said, I said, I think we did. These will come out, these will come out. Hi. All right. Where were we? Chainsaw action, a toolbox, a beat up toolbox. To be specific, uh, a chair. Look at this, we may just do something yet. We may, we may. Uh, you need a potato? There's some potatoes in there. You say potato, I say patata. I don't really say patata. I say potato too, you know? And I say tomato. Tomato and potato. I don't say tomato or potato. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. Silliness comes in all forms today. All right. Maybe we're gonna do something. I don't know, maybe. Okay, that's all we mustered up today. I don't think this load is much of anything. I mean, yeah. I don't even know if we got a thousand pounds on there. Maybe. We'll see. All right, we're going to tear this thing down and we'll see you in a little bit when we go over to Jeffy. Oh, my, yeah. I booted up a little quicker than yeah. you. Happy Friday Eve. Happy Friday Eve to you, buddy. Yeah. I miss you. That's, uh, I took the battery out. Yeah. Right? Heavy? Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah, man. I was going to throw it in a tin pile, and I'm like, man, there's a lot of aluminum in there. You ready? Yeah. I got one of these bad nasties, too.
And that's all the heavy, buddy. Do some light. Good. What? NFF tomorrow. NFF, non Ferris Friday. Yeah. Uh, I don't really have a lot. My big thing is that, uh, the what do you call it sold? The lift. Oh, you sold it? Yeah. So the guy's coming to pick it up tonight. For what you were asking for it? Uh, a thousand bucks. I should. That's good. I should. Kobe. I'm on this side. That'll go up back. What'll go out back? That's on a lead battery. You gotta see TV on there. So say T T B. I just lead. can't throw it out in the back. I don't know where you where you go to dispose of these. Oh, we man. only take lead acid fast. So you can't do any of these. No. So all of those that I've like all the ones from your grills and stuff. I'm gonna stop taking those stupid things. Yeah. Well, isn't that something? I'm sure like Office Max or somewhere like that. What's that? I'm sure like Office Max or somewhere like that recycles them. I would try uh, the uh, battery store. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Batteries the plus. plus. Yeah. On the money. On the money. money. Say goodbye to your millions and goodbye millions and you. millions of fans. All right, everybody. That is the end of the day. It is a little bit later on, about 2.45. And there's just rain everywhere. There's rain everywhere. We actually ended up taking the rest of the day off. Just hanging out, relaxing. Uh, we are selling that lift. That will be on the next episode. Um, uh, yes, so we're selling that lift. We're meeting the guy at 4.30. So I'd like to get this video edited and out the door before then. Um, the plan wasn't to take all afternoon, and it really wasn't all afternoon. We got back here about noonish, so we took about two and a half hours off. But I knew that I had to do this lift tonight, and we're gonna have to break down some stuff on the side of the house. Maybe when we get back. This is this rain's only gonna last till about six o'clock, so we gotta should have a busy night ahead so i'm like you know what let me take a couple let's feel a little worn down and part of our new gimmick is we're not gonna beat ourselves into the ground anymore um we're gonna do stuff but still have you know still be able to show up the next day and not be just completely zombified anyway let's get to the ticket to the ticket hey 10 13 40 uh, iron you all heavy, 38 pounds. Iron you all light, 16 pounds. Clean aluminum, two pounds. Electric motors, three pounds, which gives us a total of 13.99 for, you got it, folks, a hundo. Right on the money. I said, oh, don't even bother with the 20s. Just give me hundreds. I'm cool with hundreds. So there you go. It came out to $100.96. One hundred dollars and ninety-six cents. Oh my! For a Thursday, if we would have just brought out Mighty Mouse, I would have said, "Hey, that's a pretty good night." When we bring out Scrapzilla, fourteen hundred pounds. Uh, I mean, okay, okay. Let's talk about it. Um, yeah, it's fourteen hundred pounds, but we also got a, a stove and a dryer. So probably another 300 pounds there. So still 1,700 pounds. We'd like to be at least at least 1,900 to consider it a victory. So I don't know. I don't know. Overall though, it was something better than nothing. Better than a punch in the eye. Um, yeah. So we didn't end up doing rusties today. 
my guy is coming to pick up the washing machines we were going to bring the machines to him since he's right next to rusty but since we couldn't do that he's going to either come get them tomorrow or saturday so either one of those works for me just means it wasn't as big of a recycling day as we thought we were going to have but that's fine too and we, and we need our one day of rain around here so let's do let's do a quote of the day huh Many times what we perceive as an error or fault is actually a gift. And eventually we find that lessons learned from this discouraging experience prove to be of great worth. Yes, 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 yes. Just because it's a, just because something bad happens to you in the moment, you know, other great things could come from that. Always remember that. Always try to remember that. Especially if you're down, you're a little low. That's what last week was for me. Um, I try not to talk about too much of, I don't know, I talk about a lot of positive stuff. I try not to bring up too much negative stuff in here, but I do, I have a lot of roller coasters. If you guys um, have watched the show a lot, we try to beat you over the head with some positivity, uh, but there is definitely, I have my days. I definitely have my days. I have my days where I don't want to talk to anybody. Last week was a week of solitude. I just, I just pretty much wanted to be alone. And I think that's okay too, you know? Um, yeah, I mean, however you get through this life, me and my buddy Robert Ironbeard, Ironbeard Yoga, check them out. We talk about this kind of stuff all the time. Um, and it's all perception and like in life problems. I say it a lot, that's just life, that's life. This is just what we're going through, you know? there, Yeah, there's wrongs and there's rights, but I don't know if there's any really, I want to be careful how I word this. Not any wrong way to come about a situation because there is wrong ways, but I mean, if you're trying your best and you're constantly trying to learn and be better, you're going to mess up. You're going to mess up. Okay? You, there's going to be situations, I tell my kids this all the time, you're going to be, there's going to be situations in your life that you don't handle correctly at the time, but that is what's going to make you better later on in life. So just kind of visualize and be able to look back I think that's a huge thing too is being able to look back and say I didn't handle that properly and then learn from it a lot of people will, not a lot of people but people will look back and say this person forced me to do this or this person forced me to do that or the situation and, and you know those things could be true over time but you ultimately hold you should ultimately hold yourself responsible you know, at the end of the day, after everything else, you are responsible for your own actions. Whatever outside forces go on, it's ultimately at the end of the day, it's on you. So, anyway, that went way long, way, way long. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. That's it. Check us out on all of our social media. If you get this far in the video and you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, it's like a toll at this point. Pay the toll. Hit that mm, subscribe button. Even if you are subscribed, just go back and check in on it for me. Check in and make sure you're still subscribed because YouTube likes to pull subscribers away every once in a while. So anyway, it's raining and I'm gonna go inside before a tornado picks up my house like Dorothy. So always remember there is no us without you. Team Lift is more than just physical. So if you can help somebody out, we greatly encourage you to do that. You guys help me out all the time. Uh, yeah, we love you. We appreciate you. God bless. Till the next episode. Oh, no. No, I can't go there yet. We got to give a decision on the day. I am going to say metal was a little slick today. It was a little elusive. So, unfortunately, we did have $100 a day. We did have 1,400 pounds. But I think we're still giving metal the elusive victory. Because we were supposed to have a huge day. And between the rain, the weather, and the metal, I think it took it from us today. So, that's a day. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time on Man vs. Metal.